Port United champions of the 2023 Link Cup. Now imagine England without the FA Cup, France without the French Cup and Spain without the Copa del Rey. You bet that the idea was happening in this season of local football in Jamaica. We are actually missing our premier Open Cup competition this season. Now of course, it's nothing new for us Jamaicans and I will get into that a little bit more later on. It is a little bit of mystery where I, John PL fan, will be looking to hopefully shed some light on. The Link Up was first introduced in 2022 and is organized by the Jamaican Football Federation slash PFJL in collaboration with Link Jamaica. It replaces the JFF Champions Cup which was last held in 2014. The tournament is or was <laughs> sponsored by Link, a prominent mobile payment company that supports sports and community development in Jamaica. The Link Cup was basically our version of well, I would more called the League's Cup than the FA Cup because it wasn't it wasn't necessarily open to all every single football club on the island, but mostly just the the, the 14 tier one teams in the Premier League and the selected 10 in tier two. So that was necessarily what brought up the Lynx Cup and it ran last year between March 8th to May 26th. And basically as a spectator, from what I saw last year, it went off very well. The fans came out big especially for the final, the big double header at Sabina Park where I think, you know, Rudolph Speed and Cavalier must be hated Sabina at this point. They lost another final against Pomer United 2-0 in that inaugural final. So it seemed that everything went well with the tournament and we should be expecting it to be part of the local calendar going forward. Except fast forward to know we are what April 14th 2024 and we are approaching the playoffs for the regular season in the Premier League and there is still no sign of the Link Cup. So literally what's going on? Admittedly my very low and poor detective skills and led me to try and find some information. I've sent some emails about the JFF and the PFJL and I got no response, you know, because you know, I guess I'm not that big of a YouTuber just yet. But I did some digging, some looking into it. Um, the most I got out of it, the rumor I got as Link simply was, was a one and done for Link and they did simply not renew their sponsorship for this year's competition. It's on a bit spooky, especially when you look at this Gleaner article in October 22nd, 2002, where it was noted that Link and the PFJL have signed a multi year sponsorship deal that will see Link heavily involved in the league as well as the Link Cup. Kemar Burke, the brand and sponsorship manager at Link, even went further and stated that the Link Gold Cup will merge great entertainment and great sports. We have big plans for football. So that's what he said back in October 22nd. He went on further and said, I can promise that we will bring a new edge to the football space, both on and off the field. Like football, link off with everybody. We are excited and honored to work the JPL to bring even more enjoyment to the space with new and exciting activities. Or as we like to say, link spirits. Boy, them really that go hard with the marketing last year. So Basically, that's what happened. Link, they are pushing up hard last year. They signed a deal with the league and then run the Link Cup, which, as I stated, was half nine year hiatus, right? That can used to be a big thing part of the local football calendar. Because we used to have the, the Flow Cup, they used to have the JNBS Cup. All that was basically the same local knockout competition for the top teams. And after Flow went away and they couldn't find a sponsor, the JFF basically stopped the competition after 2014. So it was good to see it come back. I was happy it came back and Link seemed like the right partner because they did bring the energy as, I, as you can hear from even how he was saying in this statement in the Gleaner. They really seemed them bring the vibe and they seemed them really up for it. So now to hear a year later after I thought was a successful run of the tournament, they were allegedly pulling their sponsorship from the cup competition is a bit disheartening. You may be asking why would they do that after some more digging Allegedly, there was a big follow-up based on what happened. If you remember, in the same final, some players got their belongings robbed while the match had gone at Sabana Park and there was some lax security apparently. And, you know, somebody was trying to say who was held accountable for such an issue. And Link were basically the ones that organized and run the, the, the competition. And it seems they and the, the PFJL or they and JFFF could really work out who was there to be blamed for this. So it, it could be a follow-up from that. But we must note that if you look at the JPL this season, Link is still a, a prominent supporter and sponsor of the league itself. So why we have to really ask where the League Cup is? And what makes it worse, we were kind of warned about this potentially happening. 
in the Observer article of May 13, 2023, Lord Bernard says there needs to be a sustainability should Link decide in the future that they no longer want to support and sponsor the competition. This, he says, would ensure that it does not get cancelled and the teams would have multiple opportunities to develop players. I, I know this is him speaking now. I am a serious advocate of multiple competitions being played. Bernard said ahead of their first leg semi final against Portman United on Friday, where the game had a 2 all and a 2 all draw. I think this should be a step going forward, giving you an all island knockout irrespective of who are the sponsors. As a matter of fact, I think the JFF should follow the English FA and probably take it on themselves and seek sponsorship for it. I was looking at the trophy and seeing that it's almost a replica of the Emirates FA Cup. This is something that the Federation should own and then of course seek sponsors for it. Title sponsors can change year to year in the event that Link decides to stop sponsorship, then it drops dead again. So I'm charging the Federation to look into that. And that was just last year and look at it again. What in basically why everything one off basically happened so quickly. I don't think even him the predict said it happened this quickly. The, the cup has gone missing and absolutely no word went there and who have it. But what is even more hurtful and, and concerning to me is that apparently, apart from I, you don't seem like anybody even notice. You know, I'm not hear nobody speaking, no other YouTuber, no, no, no other YouTuber, no fans, no journalists really coming up and asking questions. Where is the link up? It's as if we're, you know, just used to it not being there. So we're, we're quite fine. There's no local cup competitions, and as Lord Lord Bernard stated. It is a good incentive to have, I believe, because it help. Because you have to know use the full repertoire of your squad. It might help burst more, more younger players into the first team to get some first team action, where you can't necessarily risk them in a league where there's relegation possibly. And it also gives some teams who have no chance of coming even in the playoffs something to fight for. Have you themselves now who finished just 12th in the league and barely escaped relegation? could at least probably still be have something to fight for in this cup as they have most of the JFF Champions Cup in their history and they would have probably see it fit to add to it this season. So yeah man, we, we, we are trying to ask suppose that B for final war go on. Again, there's no pressure externally so they didn't even seem fit to necessarily make a press conference to say hey, Link is out or this is going hot or this is happening or we're seeking sponsorship again. So there's no Link up, there's nobody asking questions, nobody needs to answer them. So. I mean, a little jump for the loan there, I try to wonder where my cup competition there. Because I enjoyed it last year, I was happy it returned. I was one of those when I was younger, we used to go to the Champions Cup Finals them. I was there at the Flow Cup Final at Kansas Spring Field, where I saw, where I saw water was lifting the cup. And, um, you know, if you see, we've got nine years without a cup competition and say, Link, bring it back in such a good fashion. But if you see it disappear again, I hurt me. So, yeah man, that's basically what's going on with the link up. Unless some miracle happens that we'll have one spring up by next week. It seems that we just have no cup competitions. Or at least an all island one this season. Maybe the JFF decided to hold off on cup competition this year because you know we have a lot of football for the senior teams happening this summer and we want to wrap up the league before June. Because yeah, World Cup qualifiers starting June 6th, then Copa America, and we have under 20 at Guan in the summer. So maybe the JFF decided to the schedule pack we want close the league by May and we're going to put the cup on hiatus until next season. Or really it's a sponsorship problem and Link decides to say, yo, we go and help with the league, but we don't, we don't want the cup competition. It's too hard to run with self. So I really stand by what Bernard said. The JFF need to take control. They are the owners of it. I feel them cup up 2014 and try to find a sponsor. Try If you can't find a sponsor, why just try to run the competition? To try to do something. We need a cup competition back. It helps with football development in my eyes. But anyway, that's all I got a jump here for. Again, you know, Mr. Try to set, shed some light. If you're one of the very few people like I am, wondering where is our cup competition. We'll be back again this Friday to preview the big playoff coming out in the league this weekend. But until then, keep it locked right here at Jump Hill Fun. And if you're new here, please like, subscribe, and share. But otherwise, for all teams Jamaica Premier League, you're already at the right place. Jump Hill Fun. YouTube, big up on yourself.